Hello there, I'm Leo Waldock and this is Kick Guru, and these are the five OCZ SSDs that were busy flogging to death. Um, you may recall from part one of this little video diary that the uh, big question is, will these SSDs make it to their 22 terabyte warranty uh, limit or not? Uh, you generally run about seven terabytes a year if you're using your drive heavily, three year warranty, 21, 22 terabytes. We actually worked out, I think it's 21.8 terabytes, but let's round up to 22 terabytes. What's a few hundred gigabytes between friends? Um, so this is the test PC. Now, if you've looked at um, the video, which I hope has gone up, uh, for the Antec ISK600M, you'll have had a look inside the system already. Um, I chose the components of the system Primarily, I wanted it to be quiet, convenient and quiet. Those are my watchwords and low power. This system, when it's running these SSDs, draws about 60 watts at the wall socket, which is quite impressive. So we've got the um, Antec ISK600M. We've got an, uh, a Zeus Z87i, which is a mini ITX motherboard. Tiny little thing. Um, an Intel Pentium Anniversary G3258 processor, the same one we actually used in that small form factor ASRock uh, Z97 system quite recently. That was their M8. Uh, on top of the Pentium, I've got a Noctua NH L12 cooler, which is a really low profile, really quiet cooler. There's a graphics card near as it happens. It's a Sapphire HD 7770 from the shelf. I probably didn't need a graphics card of with any sort of power to it, but it's a very low power, very quiet card. Um, some Corsair DDR3 memory and an Intel SSD to run the system. Uh, now, uh, the power supply is a Seasonic M12 520 watt power supply, which is a quality power supply um, and massively over spec for this system. Uh, I might as well actually just take off this cover and give you a very brief glance at the insides. Although, as I say, if you look at the um, uh, Antec review, you'll, uh, you'll see plenty of what's going on. Now let's take this cover off, and if there's a horrible sizzling sound as I electrocute myself, we know what happened, won't we? There we go, that's the top cover off. Uh, so as it happens, and you may not have been aware because it's so quiet, the system is actually running. So there's our Noctua cooler uh, keeping the processor cool. That uh, Pentium Anniversary is a really low power processor, uh, takes very little cooling. We've got two SSDs in the top. I'm not going to turn the system as, oh, what the heck, let's, let's be bold. Let's go for it. There we go, there we go. Uh, one SSD that's kind of floating free, one that's been cobbled into a three and a half inch drive bay of the single screw, one mounted on the floor, and then the boot drive also on the floor of the system. There you go, and that's the Sapphire graphics card. Uh, so that's the system running, and it's very quiet. Now, the reason I took a few days out from um, uh, between the first and second installments of this diary was that uh, Anvil's, this utility here, which is running on one of the drives at the moment, um, Primarily, it's uh, a benchmark, and it's the sort of thing we use all the time at KitGuru. Um, you run it on an SSD, get your figures, shut it down, change drives, repeat as necessary, and you generally run a number of different utilities, so Crystal Dismark possibly, uh, Iometer is a favourite, um, and you get the figures from a number of different benchmarks, see what you've got. This idea of running drives continuously or continually, uh, it's a new one on me. Um, running multiple drives is also new. Uh, one thing I hadn't actually appreciated with the endurance test, which is what's running here, which I've never run before because it does say, warning, don't run this if you want to uh, avoid killing your drive. Um, in the past, that'd be a bad thing. Here, it's what we want. Uh, is that when you shut the system down, um, it or reboot it or change something, the software actually loses its log settings. So uh, previous data that's been written to the drive goes, so I'm, I'm having to keep a note as I go, which is no great hardship. So we have a number of uh, windows here, but basically this is um, gigabytes written, terabytes written, so the same figure, basically you move the decimal point. Uh, make sure I've got the right, make sure I'm not talking lies to you. That's a uh, data rate. That is the estimated number of uh, terabytes that can be written in a day. So what this is telling you is that this system can actually write 12 terabytes to this drive in a day. And then some other stuff going on here. Um, now, the reason I took a few days out from um, between video logs is actually because two of the drives, drives G and H, have actually hit their 22 terabyte limit already. Well, it's not a limit, it's the, um, it's the floor, I suppose. It's, it's the warranty limit. Uh, they've hit that limit. I've got screen grabs, which will be going on the web page around this video. And um, Crystal Dismark Info shows that the, both those drives have 91% of life remaining. 
Um, funnily enough, the info also seems to suggest they have no bad blocks yet, uh, which is a bit curious. Uh, so I'm going to have to do some more analysis on that. Um, clearly drives, uh, these are 240GB SSDs, which probably means they're built as 256 so you've got 16 gig of over-provision. Uh, clearly we are within our provisioning limit, so they are still 240GB drives. Um, and according to the info, as yet we haven't lost any capacity at all, which is what you want, so we're somewhere in that 16 gig of over-provisioning. I don't know how, whether any of it's actually gone missing yet, but the software is reporting 91% of life left, therefore 9% has gone. If you take that multiplied by 11, we've done 22, that's 220, 200, 240 terabytes, if that's a linear relationship. Um, goodness knows, frankly. So, that's where we're at. The system is running. Uh, I'm going to unplug all this, take it back to the test room and get the uh, other three drives running. The first thing obviously I need to do is to get all five drives up to 22 terabytes and that will answer the first question which is do five test, uh, five SSDs at random uh, get to the warranty. As, as yet we've had no catastrophic failures which is obviously quite important. Um, Next thing, get them all to 22 terabytes. Then we'll see where we go from there. Will we run them onto 100 terabytes, 200 terabytes? Will we lose interest? Um, but I want to see what that crystal disk info has to say about each of the drives because that uh, is of burning interest. Anyway, so around the web page, if you're looking at this on YouTube, go to the KitGuru web page uh, and you'll see the screen grabs where I kept this software running for three days. I think it's 70 hours um, and got the figure there to 22 terabytes in one hit so there's no me telling you it's done 22 in fact you can't see it the screen grabs are there two of the five drives have hit 22 terabytes now i need to get the other three to the same level uh, and the funny thing is as yet uh, occ doesn't know two of their drives have done that uh, the software actually ran considerably faster than i expected so um that's a nice little surprise for them so there we go leo Waldock for kit guru and our five ssds we're making progress